I have not done a makeup tutorial in a very long time and as you can tell I do look a little bit different today I have on this headpiece that I got from ASOS which you can look in the box below to um, have check out the link but um, I did this look because I was inspired by the movie 300 and in that movie everything's really dark and gruesome and gory and the women look like bronzy and gorgeous and I love that look so I was I wanted to do something that's similar to that and wear, be able to wear a cool headpiece too so um, if you just stay tuned I'll show you how to get this look I started off with a cleaned and moisturized face Afterwards, I applied my foundation, and now it's time for eye primer. I pulled out my favorite cheap and affordable drugstore eye palette from Wet n Wild and took the light brown color and applied that all over my lids. Then I grabbed the darkest brown color and applied that to the outer thirds of my eyes along the crease. I took a smaller brush and applied the light brown color under my eyes. Then I also grabbed the darker brown color and applied over that light brown and made sure that it's connected to the end of my eyes so it gives it more of a winged look. Here comes the most important part. Grab your blending brush and blend as much as you can to soften the harsh line so that it gives it a more smoky bronzy look. Take the lightest color and highlight underneath your eyebrows. I brighten my eyes by using my favorite gold powder on the inner corners. I took a black eye pencil and stretched out the end of my eyes because it tends to tug when you use a pencil and apply that to both eyes. Before the eyeliner sets, Grab your brush and smudge as much as you can to soften up the lines and wing out the ends. Use the same eyeliner and apply that under your eyes and along the waterline. Don't forget to smudge underneath too to make everything blend seamlessly. Apply a little bit of the dark brown eyeshadow over the eyeliner to help keep everything set in place and keep it from smearing. Finally, don't forget to blend. Next, we move on to the eyebrows. I used my eyebrow pencil first to draw and outline the shape. I will soften the look by using my eyebrow brush. To help my eyebrows look a little bit fuller, I went and took a brush and applied a little bit more of eyebrow powder. Don't forget to finish it off by brushing out your eyebrows. This is optional, but I decided to enhance my eyes by adding long lashes. Once everything dries, I apply a liquid liner to cover up any excess glue. Apply mascara to your upper and lower eyelashes. By curling your lashes, it helps to adhere the real lashes with the fake lashes. Now it's time to grab your bronzer and apply it into the hollows under your cheeks, up along the side of your face, and finally to the end of your chin in a number 3 motion. I use the same bronzer and contour the sides of my nose to give it more height. Next, I mix two colored blushes, the bronze and a slight pinky peach color, and applied that to my cheeks. Then I took a light shimmery color and applied that to my cheeks, the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, and a little bit on my chin. I finished off the look with a mauve rose lip color from e.l.f. and I topped it with a similar lip gloss color. I think this look is a very simple and wearable brown smoky eye color that can also be worn every day. Now onto my hair. I let it down and kept my day old hair because it gave it a more softer curl. 
I applied my headband that I purchased from Azo and fastened it with a couple of bobby pins to keep it from slipping. And now here is my finished look. And that's practically it. I hope the look is very easy for you to follow. If you don't want to do anything too dark of, of, of an eyes like mine, then you can definitely lighten it up and be able to wear it for your sultry summer nights um, because it gives a really bronze, sexy look without being too harsh of having black eyeshadow. So uh, let me know if you try it out and send me some pictures on Instagram or Facebook and let me see uh, any look that you've came up with and let me be inspired by seeing what you've done. And thank you so much guys. See you in the next video. Bye.